in an earlier lesson, we created home page, and new records page, view all page, and edit to delete page. We used routes.php to view those pages. From here, we viewed those pages. But this is not a good practice. For home page, it's okay. You can code like this for small web applications, but for complex industrial level applications, we always use controllers to view pages. We forward the HTTP request. Come to routes to controllers. To show you how it works, I'm going to create some functions at records controller. So open records controller. Okay, let's copy this index function, index method. And paste it here. Let's rename this as show all. Okay. Now, from this routes.php, I am cutting this code line, Re return view, view. Uh, this this code line responsible to view view.blade.php web page. Cut this and paste here. Alright. Now we can save this one. And let's go back to routes. Now here we are going to change this route. Let's remove this code line. And here also. Completing the parentheses here, closing parentheses, and within single quotes, type the controller name. So our one is records controller. Then add sign. Then the method name. Uh, our method was show all. So you can copy and paste if you want. Why not? Alright, now when a request with view reaches to this place, from here it will be forwarded to show all method of records controller. Okay, then from there it will show view.blade.php web page. Okay, now you can save this file. Now we can do the same thing for new and edit routes. Let's go to record controller. I'm going to copy this and paste it down below. I'm going to edit this as show new. Okay, now here we can edit this to new. Alright, for edit, paste this. Edit this as show edit. So return view edit. Okay, save this on routes.php. I'm going to copy this, just paste for new and for edit. And do not forget to put this semicolon at the end, that's very important. Otherwise, this will not work. Okay, let's uh, change this to new. And this for edit. Edit. Show edit. Alright. Save this. And now it's time to test these things with SAMP server. Make sure your SAMP server is running before you start testing these things. And you can open the browser and test how this works. It's time to test how our new changes work. Or slash, let's type new. Yeah. Right, it's working. New content goes here. Let's click on edit. Edit content goes here. View all. 
Yeah, it works really, really well. Now we are weaving our web pages through records controller, not from the routes directly.